Why must you be so hard? Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Black Box by 1010 Music. In this video, I will discuss the features of granular mode. Granular is similar to sample mode, but with the additional ability to use multiple grains when playing back your sample. You can use granular mode to facilitate loop crossfading and to generate new sounds from your samples. In this mode, the sample is played back in small portions of 10 to 200 milliseconds in length. These small portions are called grains. You can control the size, count, spread, and playback speed of grains. Granular pads support all of the same main and ADSR parameters as sample pads along with some additional parameters specifically for granular synthesis. First is grain size. The size of the small segments of the wave file that will be played measured in number of samples. And these can be adjusted using the upper left knob. In the lower left you have grain count. How many different grains are layered together during playback? And again, you can control that by simply turning the lower left knob. In the upper right corner, we have spread. The width of the range from which grains are randomly chosen for playback. The range is centered around the current playback position in the wave file. And again, you can control the spread, also measured in samples, using the upper right knob. Speed controls how quickly the playback of the grains advances through the source wave file. At 100%, it will sound most like the original file. At 50%, it will be half the original speed. At 200%, it will be double the original speed. And again, you can control that pretty easily here with the lower right knob. In granular mode, the root note is used as a guide for randomizing the slice positions. If the source file is a single tone, make sure the root note is set correctly to achieve more musical sounds. If the source wave file has multiple tones, experiment with the root note parameter to get the effect you want, or set it to none to remove this factor from the grain engine altogether. If you want to use granular mode to generate tonal content, use a very low speed, a high grain count, small grain size, and small spread. To start with something that is close to the original wave file, set the spread to zero, speed to 100%, grain size to 1024, and grain count to two. These settings are useful when you want to use granular mode to smooth out the crossover points for your loops. If you look at the black box, you can see one of the pads is highlighted. It's a synth. If I press info one time, you can see the waveform overview. And in the top left corner, we have a new icon in that little mode button. So we know that this pad is set to granular mode. If I press info one more time, I get to the settings. And again, the main settings for a granular pad are the same. The ADSR are the same as any other pad. Your miscellaneous settings have the loop mode your reverse parameter, and your root note parameter. Position will allow you to set the start and length markers along with the loop start and loop end. And then granular is where all the fun settings exist. I'm going to start this sample looping with the settings that you see here. It's a good idea to start with something that you're familiar with so that as you play with the settings, you can more easily hear its effect. If I turn up spread, remember that spread is sort of like the window from which we select the grains to play. Farther the spread, the more variation in the grains that we are playing. We slow this down. If we can catch the speed at zero at an interesting point in the wave, we essentially freeze it in time.
larger the grain size, the more information exists in each grain. And the more grains we use, the more level we have overall. spread them out, we are isolated on the eight grains that we have selected. So there's a nice start to a synth pad. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more from 1010 Music.